All right, well, back to this farting thing. <laughs> so I'm lactose intolerant, for sure, I think, because I, I, it's like, when I'm eating beans and uh, stuff, I fart like regular people that eat beans. Like, it's a mu- musical fruit, as you know. Um, and, but it's like predictable amount of bean farting. But then, if I have like a pint of ice cream or, you know, so d- dairy, like, I, I'm, far, I've, like I'm, I'm capable of generating so much... There must just be some incredible like thing have happening. Have you tried cutting out all dairy just to see if that goes away? Well, I effectively have with this. Di- yes, that's what I'm telling you. Is I finally. Fa- it took me 42 years t- for to accidentally have that experiment. I, didn- I never, never tried it. But today you had a, a load of dairy, right? Like, so are, are you? Yeah, are you, I don't. What? What? I, I'm saying, like, do you, so today you're farting because of that. And it's, yes. but, but when you cut it out, that stops. Yes. So for the rest of the week, it's not there. But then wow. it's like. Oh, and then I have like some ice cream or a, you know a pina colada or something, and then it's like, like holy jamoli! Like I, I feel like I could fill a hot air balloon, <laughs> and there might that there might be a way to like tap it for like global energy. <laughs> it just seems like an it's like an amazing thing that a human being can generate so have, much. We could at least have our own hot air balloon. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Sam, I used to be my neighbor. He had this lovely family. They were a very like cohesive nuclear family, and <clears throat> they all had the, the family joke was cherries made them all fart like mad. So they would all you go to their house and they would put out a bowl of cherries and they all start laughing. <clears throat> so I was eating cherries and they're laughing. And then they are the mom, dad, like old people, young people, everyone's just farting. <laughs> cherries. I don't like that story. <laughs> So, yeah, and I don't so know why. I don't know why. Their pastime is to invite guests over and just fart all over the place. I guess because it's a family. I guess that's what I don't like about it. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that. Oh, it's you resent that the family bonded over anything like that? It's yeah. like the hills have eyes, kind of. <laughs> yeah, except they don't, because if the hills had eyes, some of those eyes would 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 lend to self awareness. The, the hills. The, if, if the hills had enough eyes, the hills could see themselves for what they were. And that family can't. Oh, so you weren't upset about family farting. You just you, you, that 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 resonated for you of the of, the, the, of a f- close cohesive family. Uh, I don't think I'm jealous of the cherry farter family. <laughs> I don't like them. I think I think they're too close. I don't like that. Why are they Why are they doing that together? <laughs> Well, tell me more about them. <laughs> um, what did they do with bananas? Like the, did they, they shower they, they, together? Uh, they were kind of—they were this, uh, this. It's the Smotherman family, and the, they were, I went to high school. The so Smotherman I, family. Smotherman. <laughs> when I when I moved back from uh, when I was when I was on like on the on the play on Broadway when I was ten and eleven, and then I came back to LA 9/11. for the first time. Nine eleven. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good, yeah. good. That's, that was good. That's a, that's a, that's a healthier response to 9-11. <laughs> my, my first day back, I, I moved back to Whittier, which I'd never, I'd never lived there, but my grandmother lived there. When, like, when I was a little kid, like, we had like, a big house with horses and stuff, and then gradually my family lost all of our money. And then I went on the road with my mom, and then my dad was back home. I think they would have gotten divorced. We came back, and we lived in this really small house with this like, shitty car, and we'd... Like, I didn't know anybody who moved in this kind of, It's not a great neighborhood. <clears throat> it wasn't like, you know, like living in a, in a horrible, like, Detroit or some, like, like some terrible, like, like, gunfire going off all night long. But it was like, I lived in a really nice, hilly, beautiful childhood. And now I'm, I didn't know, know anybody. And I remember laying on, on my parents' bed in this new little house, and all I could hear was a plane going overhead. And when you fly into LAX, if you're, like, coming back into L.A., and when you hear the, the flaps go down, if you look out the window, you can see my high school. That's the sound of, you can hear from the ground, the of the planes decelerating. And I just started crying because it was the only noise I heard. And I just lived in New York for, like, about a year where it's just all this input and, like, action and stuff. So I was really depressed. And this kid went by on a skateboard, and that was Sam Smotherman, and he lived just down the block. And their family was so cool. And their dad, they were all really Christian, but like the most adorable, wonderful version of that. And if everybody were like that, you wouldn't have any negative like attachments to that. They would sit around, like Sam got really, like, really sick as a kid, like some disease. Then he got really wounded in a car accident. And there was a, all this like, they went through a lot of family crisis. And they would sit down as a unit and they would just talk it out. And they would, and they would like, if it, if it came down to it, the father would just say, well, you know, it says in the book of James or whatever. And they, and they like, not like in a pedantic or a pedagogical or like preachery way. And I just sat there watching it. And it was just like, this is marvelous. 
And then and the cherries would come to the table. Well, I, <clears throat> I hung out there so often, I still have dreams where I'm, like, knocking on Sam Smotherman's door from, you know, <clears throat> from when I was uh, 13 or 12. And, but that kitchen... And that, like, one day I hung out there so much, there was a bowl of cherries out there, and I took one, and they all started sniggering. And I was like, what's, what's the joke? And they're like, it makes the Smotherman's fart. <laughs> it makes the Smotherman's fart. Uh, now do you like them? Yeah. Uh, no, the Smotherman's are fine now. <laughs> I was picturing them more like white trash, like they drank antifreeze, and, <laughs> like, like, one of them, like, 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 huffed himself to death in the basement, and, but he was still kind of half alive in the hospital, and... Like they they would they would like like in order to make their cars go faster they would spit into the air scoop. <laughs> Spencer, are you? Are you are, are, How did where, they reach the air scoop from there? They climb out into the hood. I oh, mean, okay. you know, this is assuming someone else is driving. Yeah, of course. You know, and you have you're trying to catch somebody. To, to keep them from taking all the does that work? Petrol or is that the... actually a thing? Are there car people here that does, did we know that that works? Spitting sp- spitting fuel under the air scoopy thing. Wait, do we know that that actually works? Like Mad I Max. Don't, I don't know. Anybody here? We're not a car crowd. No. Yeah. I mean, I'm, what are you even asking? And <laughs> Mad Max, when they go out in the thing and they're spitting, they're, they're sucking fuel out of a hose and they're spitting it into the intake valves on the on the on the hoods of the car, and the car gets like super boosted and goes really fast. I'm. A, Oh, I, yeah. Anybody, anybody, anybody? I'm sure that no. works perfectly. It, it, it's not. It's, that's not. It doesn't. Doesn't work. No, it would flood the engine. It would flood the engine. What if it, it was like crazy Mad Max cars, though? <laughs> that would work. Okay. I mean, you mean it would flood the engine eventually? Damn. <laughs> like that's. That's why they didn't design the cars to just have a guy spitting like tape to the front of the guitar of the car. <laughs> Because that would have been impractical, but they're like, this is this is life or death. Have, they, they could just invent a little hose where you just like a little squirt bottle. You could just like. But then they'd it. overuse it. You know, those guys are nuts. <laughs> those those little they're anemic guys covered in tumors. They they they're, they're <laughs> spray painting their war poor, war boys. What are they? War, war, war boys. boys. Those guys are crazy. They 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 have no impulse control. You can't you can't give them a hose and say to only do this when you really need it. Your, your your whole society is founded on their 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 feral uh, ferocity. You can't then just ask them to do something in moderation. How dare you? <laughs>